Hello everyone, how are you tonight? Um, I got a parcel in the post today that I've been waiting on. It was from Pulp Addiction. And all I've done is just sort of release the tape on the side. So I got a few things. Let's open it up together. So I've been really wanting... Oh, this is a sample. I've been really, really wanting to try this um, Robert Oster Cafe Crema ink. Um, so I got a sample of that to try. Um, I I love my Twisbys, but I don't have this Twisby go. So I thought I'd give that a shot, and I'm just trying to work out how to get it out. Here we go. I got it with a broad nib. Oh, it's very snazzy sort of packaging. Oh, I've got to release that there. Mm, can I just peel that off? Mm. They don't make it easy for you to get into, do they? Okay, okay that's a bit better. So, even if I just release one in. So I got the Twisby Go with a broad nib and I got it in the clear finish. I haven't got one of these. I've seen other people use them and I thought, oh, I'd really like to try one. It's not a pen. It's kind of a pen I skipped over when I was... Oh, gosh, I'm going to have to learn how to... Oh, you like that. Do you press it down like... Oh, see? Mine was a bit stiff to begin with, but okay, I get it. So, broad nib on that one. And you just clip it on. Oh, it's even got a little pen loop. Can you see that? Little sort of pen loop there. Hope you can see that. Anyway, so that's my Twisby Go that I ordered along with my Cafe Crema ink sample. So that's that. Um, another pen that I skipped over when I was getting into fountain pens is the Pilot Kakuno. And once again, I got it in the clear, but I got this one with a medium nib. So, open that up. Mm. I'm having problems getting into this. It's just to open it this way, but it's not really opening. See? Open. I think I've just got right, so here we go. So, Pilot Kakuno. Um, oh, it comes with a cartridge, which I will probably just put away and not use because I, I think it's in, oops, yeah, I bought a Pilot Converter 40 for it. So, so I can just use my whatever ink I have on hand. So that's that. Let's put that in. So it's got a little smiley face. Can you see that? So I'll put the converter in there ready to go. There you go. So that's that. And just clips on like that. Um, another thing that I've had on my list for a while is um, some Noodlers ink. Um, sorry about the noise there guys. So I've got two bottles of Noodlers ink. I got doesn't have it on the bottle. I got the um, from memory. Yep. 
I've got the purple martin. And I got the Bad Green Gator. <laughs> I just love the name of it, Bad Green Gator. So I got that one. So that's a green and a purple ink. And then because, oh that's, yeah, that's just my book. Endless, you all know, I love these um, notebooks. Sorry about the light, I'll get the box out of the way. You all know I love these notebooks. Um, I love them for recording my ink swatching and my currently inked pens. And um, for those of you that don't know, Endless are actually moving across to a different paper. And it's gonna be, um, I think it's called Regalia paper. Um, and it's still a very nice paper. I've actually got a notebook with that in it, but um, They're going to be discontinu um, discontinuing these with the Tomoe River paper So I want to make sure I got one more just to put away For future use so um, I'm really mixing my words up tonight so um, So I'll put that away for another time, but I thought we would ink up my two new pens. So thank you for those of you who have been following along and watching my videos and making suggestions as well. I do find it really helpful. Um, so I'm just working out I believe these can stain, like the noodles inks, they can stain as well but Oh, what the heck. We're having, I hope, hopefully you can't, oh gosh, let's hope I don't spill this. Um, we're having some really big thunderstorms at the moment around us, so I'm not sure if you can hear that. Hmm. I don't know if I'm actually... Oh yeah, I'm getting some ink it up. I might try that once more and just see. Oh, that's a better feel. There we go. So that's the Twisby Go with a broad nib. Where did I put the lid? Oh, here it is. I thought I'd lost the lid for a minute. So... That's the purple martin. So we'll just do a little swatch. I wonder if I've got another page which I haven't sort of finished using up. Yeah, we'll do it over here. I've got enough room here. Um, oops, wrong end. So hopefully you can see that okay. So it's a lovely purple. There we go. And I'll just do, I'll put the lid on that before I spill it. I'll just do a small writing sample for you with it. So this is a Twisby Go in clear with a broad nib. Oh, this is this is so lovely to write with. It's really smooth, um, much smoother than I was expecting actually. So that's oh, that's very juicy. A really really juicy nib. So that's the first one. And then how we'll end we'll ink up the pilot Kakuno with a median nib with a bad green gator. These um noodlers inks come filled right to the brim. If you're not expecting it, you can quite easily spill it. 
I'll just put that on the lid on that for now and just do a little swatch hopefully you can all I need to move some of this stuff out of the way don't I there we go so I've got more room no Otis it's not about you oh look at this oh, what a beautiful green yeah, you think so too, don't you, Otis? Okay. That is lovely. Okay. So. Pop off. Have to remember to pop the cap off, not screw it off. So this is the Pilot Kakuno um, Clear with a medium nib oh this is really nice um, the nib on this Pilot Kakuno is quite smooth as well for um, an inexpensive pen I'm quite pleased with it it was um, I want to say the pen was like less than twenty dollars, maybe about nineteen ninety-five Australian dollars, and I think the cartridge um, converter for it, the Pilot Con cartridge converter, was like I don't know, was it seven or was it eleven? I can't remember. One of those. So it's quite a good little pen, actually. Um, and it's got this really, really cute smiley face, which I showed you before, but it's probably really dirty now with the ink on it, but really cute little smiley face on it. And this Twisby Go, it's got such a smooth nib. I was, I mean, I, I expected it to be, to be good, but not quite as smooth as it is. It's lovely to write with. So um, I'll have to do some longer writing samples with you and give you a better idea of how I find it. Um, so yes, I won't do the Cafe Crema um, ink swatching tonight. I'll save that for another time. Um, but yes, that's just my little mini haul that I wanted to share with you. Um, I hope wherever you are, you're having a nice day or a nice evening. And I'll see you back here next time. And for those of you who have subscribed, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Take care, everyone. Bye.